Hey guys, welcome back to another part of The Sims 3 Big Sister Challenge. In today's part, we are exactly where we left off in the last part, and today I will be revealing all the tea on Ava and Dylan's mom, Joyce. In the beginning of this series, I mentioned that Joyce is their biological mother and she is missing. So here's a little backstory. After Joyce broke off things with their dad, Christopher, Joyce immediately got into another relationship. And this relationship was rushed because as a woman, she felt like she needed a man in her life. We're gonna call the guy she got in a relationship with mystery guy because he is irrelevant and they just ended luckily joyce didn't bring the guy around ava and dylan so they don't know exactly who he is or what he looks like the main question you all have is well where's joyce Surprise, surprise, she's alive and she purposely ran away from her own children to start a new life with the mystery guy. Now, Ava is currently hearing all this news right now from her dad and after this phone call, she's gonna be on a hunt to look for her mom in Hidden Springs because she knows her mom is officially back. That was a lot of hot tea, but let's just get right into the gameplay. So Ava is feeling upset right now, which is very understandable because she just found out that her mom ran away to start a new life with a guy. And keep in mind, it's been a year now that Ava's mom was reported missing and Ava thought she was dead. So the real question is, why are you back? And do you even love yourself or your children? We'll find out. Oh goodness, what is that noise? Where oh, where we get the money from? We'll take it, we'll do. Okay, her and her dad are still talking, that's good. And I gave Ava her job back. Um, it still doesn't have a title. It's a little glitched, but you know, that's how mods are. So, oh, let me check on this little baby, Milani. She got a new out. Oh, yeah, you can go on a field trip. She got a little outfit. Oh, <laughs> oh, she's so cute hiding in the toy box. So Dylan doesn't know anything. I don't think I'm going to tell him because he needs to stay in the child's place and he's not going to understand anything. So he just got home from, well, he's going to go home from after school. He wants to become a surgeon. Oh, honey, I don't know about all that. Oh, he wants to get a play table. I think Milani has one. I don't know. That's a little too kiddie-ish. Oh, let me feed this baby. Luckily, Milani doesn't... Oh, I said Milani. Luckily, Ava doesn't have to work today. So we get to go on this little hunt for her mom because I have no idea where that lady is in this world. I threw her in this world and I don't know where she'll be living or anything. So can we turn that off? So we don't drown the plants. Oh, I forgot she know how to walk. Let me feed this little girl on the floor. And she needs to go down for like a nap or something. Wait, why can't you come in? Girl. Go here. Oh, shoot. She's stuck. Okay, there we go. Look, look at her. Feed her on the floor before she start crying. And then put her in the crib. And then we're going to try to find your mom, your mother. Shoot. She's been gone for so long. And now she's back. Dylan, you're doing your homework? Oh, you're a little stressed. I can drag it up just a little bit. And then you can eat something quick. Oh, we don't have Jack. I'm going to have Ava serve up some dinner before she heads out. A serve dinner. Let's do... Let's just do autumn salad. It's summertime. A salad is good. What's wrong, Milani? Oh. All my female babies are just crybabies. They really are. They cry for no reason. Okay, dinner has been served. And I just realized this boy just ate pancakes. I made dinner for nothing. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, put away leftovers. Well, actually, you can get a bite. But it's about to get late. We gotta put this baby to bed. Oh, I kind of wish that Leo was here. And it's crazy because she actually wants to move in with Leo. I feel like Ava is moving a little too fast. She's trying to act like her mother. She wants to get married and have him move in. I don't know about all that. Maybe when they become young adults because she's about to age up in 10 days. And Dylan is about to age up to a teen in five. The way time moves. All right. Um, Here, eat something real quick. Oh, not the pan. Oh, my gosh. Eat the salad. Oh, no. Oh, Rosie. You need to eat. She's sleeping. And then play with some toys to bring her destruction up. She's starving in her sleep. You finished your homework, so I guess you can play a little bit. Did you complete it fully? Great. 
And then come here and take a shower and head to bed because it's a school night. It's Monday. Milani is still up. She needs to take herself to sleep. Night, night. Let me drag your bladder up and I'll force you to go to sleep. There we go. Night, night. <laughs> oh, no, Ava. Not your hygiene going down. I'll drag it up just a little bit. Y'all be acting up. Okay, so where should I have her start out to go first? I'm going to start out with the... Hold on. Should I start with the summer festival if it's still open? I think it's closed. Yeah, it's closed. So I'm going to have her come to this little park around here. Maybe she might be at the park. I don't know. This lady is... What is she? Oh! She just looks like she just aged up. Her hair changed. So she's a maybe she'll be at the library. I don't know. She's a genius. Maybe she likes like research and books and stuff. We'll find her somewhere. I feel like it's going to be really hard to find this lady. Ooh, nobody's here. It's like ghost town. Hidden Springs is low-key kind of scary. Hmm. Oh, and while I'm talking about her, let me drag down their relationship. It's been a whole decade since they spoke. So it's going to go all the way down to there. And I'm going to remove lost a friend. Oh, it said from neglect. I should have kept that. It's all right. Girl. View. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I feel like she would live in an area with a big house. I don't know. Oh! Oh, found where she lives and she's home. Now, it'll be weird if I just pulled up on her. Or will it? Let's pull up on her. Visit. Actually, oh, we're, we're fighting the power. <laughs> we don't care anyways. Okay, let's go. I am gonna prank her house. That's what we're gonna do. See if she finds out. It's us. She's probably going to be like, oh. What's wrong, Dylan? Dylan, be licked. Pause the darn game. Y'all play too much. I said take your tail to sleep. Sleep. Actually, you can clean Lizzie and then give her food and then go to bed before that thing die. And you, Miss Thing, you can head back to bed. Lie down. Okay, there we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Ava. Do not... Knock on her door. How about we... Ooh. Uh, doorbell... Is it doorbell ditch? Doorbell ditch. We call that ding dong ditch. What they talking about? Okay. I think I see her mom... Oh, no, I don't. It's a little dark in there. She's asleep. She's laughing like something's funny. Well, at least we didn't have to hunt for her. We just found her right here. Is she going to answer? Look, look at the bushes. Look at the bushes. <laughs> I love it. Let me get a picture. She's so crazy. She's not going to answer. Okay, how about we do flaming bag? That one's a little risky. Like, Ava could go to jail for that one if she gets caught. Dang. What if it just blew up her house? Oh, She's laughing. <laughs> come on, come outside. What? I feel like her mom is looking through the window and knows it's her. And that's why she doesn't want to answer the, for the door. She could be avoiding her. I feel like she would. See, she's not answering the door. Girl, I know you saw that. And I know you see us out here. What? Whack. She's in there. All right, well, since we're out, we might as well go stop by our boyfriend's house. Yo, everybody's aging up. <gasps> what? Dylan's best friend aged up. He's a teen now. Jake. Oh. They grew up so fast. But before I end this part, though, I'm going to get Ava to talk to her mom. Regardless, we need answers. You're selfish for running away. Look at them doing homework in the window. Are you going to answer the door or what? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Did he age up? 
Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, I was about to say. I, I need to give him a new look. I think he's in his work clothes. He look a little older. Okay. Hi, honey. Crimbo. Give him a kiss. Checking you out. Yeah, check me out. <laughs> Girl, go in. Go inside. We're going to pretend they're talking about the little situation that she found out from her dad today. So, ooh. yeah, just chat. Looks like he's a little busy with homework, but it's all right. So they're going to talk about her little situation. Mm, he's fine <laughs> now that I think about it. Okay, and then talk about his new job because he has a new job and she does too, apparently. <laughs> And then, um, let's give him a kiss. We're out here late. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. She has to go to work tomorrow. And let's give him a normal side. And then we'll dip because it's late. Everybody doing fine at home. Milani's still sleeping. Dylan is sleeping. Oh, honey. You need to use the bathroom. Pee here. There we go. Look at these two lovebirds. All right, Leo, we'll see you soon. When we're not so busy with life. She about to pass out. <gasps> get home, get home. Oh my gosh, it is early in the morning. Do we have any mail? We do, check the mail. And then take a shower and head to bed. Oh, 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 oh. Take a shower, yeah. Oh, shoot. We got a love letter from Scott. Uh-uh. What is up with him? Ever since we became friends with him, now he wants to get at us. Yeah, you're different. It is the next day in the morning. When Ava gets off of work today, I will try to have her speak with her mom. Joyce could have answered that door yesterday. Y'all can't tell me she didn't see Ava outside last night. And I know she heard and seen the pranks at her front door. <laughs> And this is really making me start to believe that she's avoiding Ava because she knows she's in the wrong for everything. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, Milani's up. Okay, okay. I need to take her out and let her do whatever. Here, give her some attention. Tickle her and toss her in the air. Maybe I'll go on a little stroll with her. But we got to go to work soon. 4 p.m. I need to sell those fruits and vegetables so we can get some coins. Actually, I'm going to do that first. It's only across the street. I'm lying. It's across the town. Okay, sell for... Ooh, that's a lot of money. So we'll do that. We'll come back to Milani. Or we can take her... Yeah, take her with you. Take the stroller with you too. There we go. Go on a little stroll. Oh, this is too cute. She looks exactly like her mom. I love it. I wish these taxis would hurry up. God darn. Oh, look at him walking his dog. That's a big behind dog. What? Did he just name his dog? What kind of name? It's a cute dog, though, so I can't complain. Come on, let's go. Oh, that was quick. Look at the cat. Oh, Susie. Yo, all these animals. Where can I have them go on a stroll? Here. Go on a stroll with Milani. Not the cat trying to talk to us. <laughs> oh, I love this. Wait, he saw a ghost. Oh, you're at a field trip. Oh, now you want to become a creature robot cross. Yeah, no. That's not happening. All right, so he doesn't have after school today, does he? He does. Oh, shoot. That's loud. Time for me to skedaddle. Okay, y'all can go for a stroll for a few more minutes and then you got to go back home because you have to get ready for work. Yep, see, there we go. So, oh no, don't put her down. Keep her in your hands and then go home. There we go. I'm going to drag her energy up. She had a late night and we have to go to work, so we don't have time to be tired. How's Milani? Her energy. She needs to eat. She needs to get her diaper changed or like a bath. What's wrong with you? Disgusted. Oh, you're funny. Here, how about you sniff out some collectibles? Oh, shoot. What in the world? A ain't nobody told him to click all the way over there. Okay, uh, sniff out collectibles. There we go. Let me feed this little one. Oh, hold on. I gotta feed my kid. Uh, feet on the floor. And the babysitter could take care of the rest. So let's go to work. Oh, not school. Work. 
I'm gonna have her... What is gonna be good for her in her performance? We're on our way. Can you wait? Dang. Um, let's just do sit exam. That looks like that's gonna help her performance. And they took her outfit that I gave her. Dang. Look at that raccoon. Yeah, call babysitter. Wait, I thought you had an after school activity. Oh. Oh, your sim must be in class. Oh, okay. Dang, he missed class. Well, he didn't miss class, but he's gonna miss that. He'll be fine. Shoot. Here, fill up that bowl. Let me drag that away. Put it in your inventory. Um, you need a nap or something, but can you take out the trash? Do some duties around the house. Feed the fish. Feed your Lizzie. And play with her a little bit. She's gonna bite him. I know that for sure. <laughs> Lizzie always bite Dylan. And then do your homework. Oh, you're playing with your imaginary toy friend. All right. So I'm going to skip past this part and we will see Ava when she is out of work. Ava just got off of work and let me really quickly see if her mom is home. No, Joyce is out at the moment. So we have her phone number. I mean, we can call and see if she wants to hang out. I highly doubt it, though, because they're not friends anymore. So let's do let me chat with her first before I waste any time. Okay, they're chatting. Let's see if the deep conversation mod says anything. No? All right, no. Must be a boring conversation. All right, enough of that. And then, come on, let's go. Let's go here where people are around. Just in case you try to fight us. Shoot. Well, I might try to fight her. Oh, she wants to hang out. She has something on her chest. I could feel it right now. She has something to say. Hold on, what's happening? My baby's diaper. Hello, who's playing music? Oh, okay. Y'all better take care of my kid. Hello, lady. What's your name? Annie. Oh, girl. All right, let me go back to Ava. Why does this place... Why does this place look blue? What? Is, th is Joyce pregnant? Pause the darn game. Oh, she just got a weird outfit. I did not give her that outfit. What are you wearing? Oh, she looks scary. I gotta change her outfit. Okay, they're chatting. Cool, cool, cool. Well, let me just change her outfit. Um, everyday one. There we go. And she stinks. I don't know where her hair went. I think it went out of my game. But, alright, I'm gonna have her... I'm gonna let them chat for a little bit, and then I'm gonna have Ava argue with her. It just makes sense. Where'd you go? Why are you back now? Mock her cleverness. Uh, mock her appearance. And then accuse of being a workaholic, sure. It's been great meeting you. No, 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 no. Wait, what? Oh, what? No. They look just alike. Yeah, argue with your mother. Is that your dad right there? There's your dad. <laughs> she wants to become friends with Joyce, and I think it's too early on for that. But eventually they'll get there. They will. Okay, Joyce doesn't have anything to say, according to the um, deep conversations mod, and I'm surprised. Let's imply she, her mother is a llama, a petty jab, and then point out her flaws as a mother. Do better, sis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Burp. Girl, I'm disappointed right now. Oh! Let me stop. They're about to be... Ooh, ooh. Now is disliked. They're about to be enemies. Alright, I'm gonna have her walk away from this situation before it gets really, really bad. And let me ignore that call. I'll warn you to stay away right now. I'm pretty grumpy. Girl, we are too. Oh, look at her mom's face. It's all your fault. Uh. Wait, where are you going? No, don't heckle. Go home. I'm thinking of leaving soon. Girl, we already left. All right, you. You did your homework, so all you need to do is actually talk to your sister for a little bit. Make her in a better mood. Let me change the little girl's diaper because Annie didn't change her diaper. 
I can put her in a crib too while I'm at it. Hold on, Dylan. Don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. You can use the bathroom. There we go. Oh, we need to do some laundry. Here, talk to your brother. Oh, he's going in a shower. Here, ask about his day. Uh, share a secret. And give him a hug. They barely be having any social interaction. Milani, little one, you need to go to sleep. Oh, she needs a bottle. My favorite color is hot pink. I'm hollering. Okay, you can take a shower and then you can go to sleep. Okay, let me feed this little girl. Feed on the floor, real quick, real quick. Cause Ava needs to eat too. You broke the shower, you just got in! Uh -huh. We don't have the money to call a repair technician. We need to save our coins. So I'm gonna have her fix it real quick. And then eat some leftovers, autumn salad, turn this radio off. Oh my gosh. And then do some laundry. Woo, it's busy. It's one o'clock in the morning. Oh, well, we're gonna watch. Dang, she fixed that fast. I'm gonna have Dylan clean that puddle later when he wakes up. Cause listen here. All right, she's still good. Oh goodness, Rosie, 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 Rosie Posey, you need to eat. Oh, she's good friends with her imaginary friend. And get a toy. Oh shoot, I forgot about the garden. Oh, the garden looks good. We'll harvest it in the It morning. is now the afternoon. For today's agenda, I'm going to have Ava spend some time with her dad just to end it off on a good note. I had her take off of work, so hopefully he's down to hang out. And then maybe in the next part, I'll have Dylan meet his dad. I think that'll be very exciting. So Dylan actually just got on a roll once again for the hundredth time. And before he goes home, oof, before he goes home, he got rewarded something at school. So, oh, oh, that's probably for the after school thing. Oh, his recital. Oh, we can, we can go. I thought it was having for having good grades. No, it's for the Boy Scouts. Okay, well, we'll go. Be a supportive sister. It'll be funny if um, <laughs> their dad and their mom showed up. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but we'll see. I think it's just gonna be Ava. Oh, look who it is, Mr. Scotty. Okay, and then when she's done with that for real, I'm gonna, ooh, why she look like that? She's green. When she's done, let's invite out. Maybe they can like go out to, oh, nobody told you to leave, but all right, I guess we're leaving early. Here, let's see if we can catch a movie and maybe eat something at a restaurant. Since he works at a restaurant, give me a discount. You were not supposed to leave. Oh, that is so disappointing. We're going to pretend she went through the whole thing. But that's so good. Good, Dylan. Doing things around here. Is he here? Oh, yay, Dylan. What did he get? Oh, that's cool. A scouting trophy. Are you now level two? Oh, he's done. Oh. He might age up in the next part. Oh, I'm sad. So sad. Here, do your homework at home. Okay, so. Let's ask about his day. Let's gossip a little bit and hug. Talk about the movies since we're at the movies. His eye color looks really scary. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is not his eye color that I gave him. And then let's catch this movie. Let's do Bigger, Better, Louder, Explosion 2. Sounds pretty interesting. Oh! Y'all not gonna make it to the movie if y'all keep talking. Alright, there we go. Can you go in? Thank you. And then come across the street and get something to eat. Eat here with group. Let me check on these folks over here. Wait, what? Disgusted from disgust. Oh shoot, we still never cleaned that. Ava, if you don't do your dishes, dang. 
Here, empty that. You need to eat some dinner. <laughs> Autumn sound like always. She hasn't cooked dinner in a minute and then do your homework. Actually, to make it faster, ask for help from Annie. She'll help you. Milani. She's gonna poop herself. There we go. Yep, change her Yeah, girl. Change her diaper. I'm gonna drag her hunger up. She ain't gonna feed that baby. You, you need to start eating instead of starving. There we go. Progress. Uh, uh, the dish, the dish. Nobody gonna get the dish. Okay, fine. I'll just throw it away. Who put the soup out? Oh my gosh. Sims really get on my nerves. All right. Then take a shower and go to sleep. Oh, guys. So Dylan's lizard ran away. Poor Lizzie. He had it in his inventory and she escaped. So now we have a what is it i don't know which an iguana i don't know but his name is kurt so hopefully he stays around so let me feed him okay they're eating here stay until dessert have some fun all right they just left the restaurant and i'm actually gonna have her hug her dad goodbye we'll see him another time maybe in the next part he can meet milani and oh yeah he doesn't even know that she's a teen mom all right and then meet dylan see your son what are you talking about? Rebelling? Oh, Lord. You need to go home quickly. You're about to pass out. Oh, he enjoyed himself. Yeah, we'll hang out again. There we go. Is everybody sleeping? Phil? Oh, you need to wake up and feed your animal. You had Lizzie run away because of neglect. So feed Kurt and then go to sleep. She put, didn't put my baby in the crib. Oh, does she need anything before she goes down for bed? Because listen here, once you're in the crib, you're in the crib. You're not coming back out for the rest of the night. I am going to end this part right here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all in the next part. Bye, everyone.